All right, taking it outside episode one, which is uh, the first of my installments of outdoor training videos. Um, so basically, you know, I, I do a lot of stuff in the gym and that's cool. But sometimes I don't feel like going to the gym. Sometimes per se, if, if I got cardio um, and all I'm gonna do is go in there and then get on the treadmill, um, I don't really want to do that. I don't feel like going to the gym to do cardio. Its main purpose, or at least the purpose I'm using it for, is to burn off calories. And um, in my mind, what's the point of burning off calories doing some silly stuff like low intensity cardio all the time when I could just do this stuff outside? When I could do something that I can ultimately benefit from that just makes me a, a more physically competent being. So, uh, hold on. I see it. Uh, routines posted so basically what i'm gonna be doing today is uh tire flips uh clap push-ups kettlebell snatches farmer's walks tire striking with a sledgehammer hammer uh overhead presses dumbbell rows and uh i'll run two minutes at a time at, at the end of each circuit um i didn't post specific weights or specific reps in the uh in the exercises there but the reason why i didn't do that is because well, First off, when I start out, I generally start off trying to get tens of everything, except for like the um, sledgehammer striking, which is like I just kind of just go for time. But basically, I'm not really necessarily focusing on numbers. I'm not necessarily focused on numbers at all. What I'm doing is, is I want to stay in motion for whatever set time I said I was going to. So today's exercises, um, today's workout, I wanted to last for about 20 minutes. And so the deal is I got all these exercises in a row and I keep on working okay I don't stop I go to one exercise and then once I get fatigued and, and fully tired from that exercise I move on to another exercise that fatigues a different part of the body so while one part of the body is resting the other part of the body is working vice versa back forth back forth back forth so what happens there is um, I'm allowed to sustain a grueling workout, but simultaneously I'm, I'm accruing oxygen debt, which is making it more harder for the body to uh, continue. I mean, it is. I mean, I guess when you put it like that, it sounds like torture, and I guess it does just a little bit. Kind of feels like torture, but the thing about it is, if you can do this, if you do this kind of stuff consistently. This is the kind of stuff that makes you extremely physically competent. Another benefit of uh, GPP. Uh, GPP is pretty damn efficient at dropping body fat. Um, thing about it is you can do low intensity cardio walking on the treadmill uh, people like to go running and you know it, it really all comes down to whatever you like you know it's whatever keeps you going whatever keeps you consistent but as far as efficiency goes GPP is very efficient at causing you to drop body fat the reason being when you engage in GPP that's, you know uh, well in what I'm doing here this fashion GPP where I'm actually uh, moving heavy weights and um, I'm doing explosive movements what the body does is the body assesses what you're doing and the, you're putting the body in a state of duress the body says man it's a lot of shit going on uh, we need to fuel all this and so the body begins to scavenge and oxidize uh, 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 fat cells it starts uh, 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 burning off carbohydrates you know um, but one thing it doesn't do as much is go looking to bur uh, burn protein for fuel, which is what we don't want. What happens is a lot of times if you do like a lot of running, a lot of moderate intensity cardio, which is a good example, is running like I just said. Um, if you do a lot of stuff where you where you're at like a moderate intensity that you can sustain for long periods of time, um, but doesn't call upon the use of your muscle mass or the use of like high threshold uh, activity which would be like heavy weighted movements uh, what happens is you can start dropping muscle mass you can start losing muscle mass the reason being 
the body form follows function the body is going to make you better at whatever you do so if you run a lot if you do a lot of running a lot of moderate intensity activity not sprinting but running jogging for long periods of time the body is going to basically try to try to conserve its energy and try to uh make itself or, or will basically adapt to whatever your activity is and since what you're engaging is is activity that doesn't call for a lot of uh, muscle tissue usage or muscle mass usage in, the, in that high threshold um, capacity the body will begin to drop muscle mass to make you more efficient at what you do what this does and what I'm doing when I'm moving when I'm doing farmers walk with 120 pound dumbbells when I'm doing uh, uh, 100 20 pound uh, dumbbell rows the body says hey we got to get right man we got we, we got to fuel all this stuff but at the same time we can't burn muscle mass because we need the muscle to be able to do this the body just wants to survive so what happens is the body has to choose between fats and carbs well that's exactly what you want okay that was my GPP. Let me catch my breath. I probably should have waited a couple more minutes before I got on this shit. I'm not gonna lie, I ain't did that. I haven't done that circuit in a long time. I used to be able to do that for like 45 minutes straight. But I haven't done that in a while. I've been doing a lot of sprints. And barbell complexes in the gym. It's been getting cold out here in Texas and uh, I haven't gotten out doing my GPP strongman type stuff in a while, but uh, uh, freeze right there. So basically, at this point, I'm tired, I'm thirsty, uh, and I had absolutely no earthly business getting in front of a camera and talking because at this point, I proceeded to ramble for five minutes. Uh, later on, I sat down, looked at it on my computer, and realized that during that five-minute period, I wasn't talking about shit. I rambled for five minutes, didn't make any damn sense, and so I decided to cut that out of the video, and we are going to wrap it up right here. Uh, tune in next time, Taking It Outside, Part 2. Uh, you know what? Be advised, though. Um, at the time of this video, I think this was in October... I think I was like 260, 260, two, no, about 255, um, and currently I'm sitting at 247, and as you see in the other videos, as time passes, I'm getting leaner and leaner. Um, just wanted to bring that to your attention. Thank you for watching, people.